Hey guys, welcome back to Breezy Woods Homestead. So today is the day. Uh, we are processing our meat chickens today. Um, uh, it's we we've, This is our first time doing it. We've never done this before. So we're hoping everything goes good for us, hoping it goes smooth. Um, we've had done plenty of research. We've talked to plenty of people who have done it. Um, doesn't seem like it'll be a hard process. Um, we're gonna get, we got everything pretty much set up and together. Uh, only thing we're waiting on is um, uh, another burner for the turkey fryer because something's wrong with this one. It's just not wanting to light and start and it seems like it has a leak somewhere. Um, propane's leaking out somewhere because it kind of caught on fire on me a little bit. Um, so uh, Valerie's on her way to go get another one of those. But let me just show you what we do have so far. Um, just kind of show you guys what you need to do this thing. So first you'll need a dispatching zone we'll call it um so we have a bucket here to catch the blood that drips down from the chickens once it's dispatched um and this cone here is made out of a five gallon bucket as well um it's just cut and kind of warped to where it's a cone shape and um the reason for that is because we are going to stick the chickens in there upside down their heads will pop out the bottom and we'll be able to kind of you know dispatch them and then all the blood will drip and drain into there once that's done, we're going to bring them over here to the turkey fryer where we're going to have water at about 145 to, to 149 degrees or so. Um, just, you know, not boiling, but pretty hot enough to scold the chicken so that the feathers um, are easy to pluck out. It'll just make it really easy um, on the next step, which is the feathering step. And we actually rented this um, off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the machine you uh once you scold the chickens and everything and the feathers are loose you put it in here and it'll spin kind of like a washing machine the chicken will be in there and these little nipples will kind of brush the uh feathers off so that whenever it's time to actually you know do the next step um there's no feathers in the way and stuff like that but there's the chicken plucker and then next you know a table with a bucket um, the bucket's going to be so that you can put your guts and waste and then the table just for a working platform Which I got to wash and clean this table um, before we actually get started. But like I said, Valerie is on her way to um, To the store to go get another burner a uh, turkey fryer burner just uh, I don't want to have any issues I don't want to blow up or anything like that. But um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today We're gonna get um, these broilers processed. Um, let me show you real quick what they look like um, And then we'll we'll get started here soon so here they are I think I mean, we only have 10 that we're going to be doing um, today so so yeah that's uh, going to be the plan for today uh, we got a little bit of a late start because of uh, you know issues with the uh, turkey fryer and then with this um this uh, yard bird thing this uh What's a yard bird chicken plucker, <laughs> the feather plucker. Um, I've never used one before. I've never done this at all before. Um, but you know, it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how it worked and everything. So um, we had a couple setbacks, a couple things that kind of uh, delayed us a little bit. But we are about to get started, and I'm gonna just kind of show you guys our experience on um, processing our own chickens for our first time. So again, we want to go ahead and heat this water. Uh, not to boiling, but we want to heat it up to a good 145 degrees um, Just so that it's hot enough to loosen the feathers so that when we go to put the chicken in the chicken plucker the feathers just kind of fall right off so Again, there's our killing station scolding station plucking station gutting station and then our finished product will go into these uh, tubs with ice um, I had one cooler this one's just a storage bin but it should be all right all right so our water is heating up it's getting pretty warm um, pretty quick actually with this little um, turkey fryer burner um, so again once we bring this the chickens over to the cone here we're gonna put them in here upside down so that way the head comes out the bottom um, we'll make the cut the blood will drain um, probably for about three minutes or so um, Then we'll move it over to the water to scold it and then pluck it So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna 
grab ourselves a chicken and we're gonna put it in this thing and do our first one um see what happens <laughs> all right guys so as you can see we put the chicken in here the head comes out the bottom we make the cut and the blood drains into the bucket once we do that part we take the chicken and you're just, you're just gonna want to dip it all the way in get it kind of fully submerged dip it in and out swing it around some and we did do a, um, a couple already just to kind of get some practice because it was our first time but I think we got it good enough to where I'm um, ready to record it for you guys so just switch it around I don't know 30 seconds or so um, after about 30 seconds you're just gonna wanna um, just wanna pull it out the water and just kind of check the wing feathers um, and you can see they're not really coming out so this um, this one's gonna need a little bit more time in here all right so once um all the feathers are gone and you might have a couple lingering um i can see there's a couple right here but um looks pretty good once you got that part done we're going to want to take the feet off so um you're going to want to bend them opposite so naturally they bend this way so you just bend them the opposite of what they would naturally bend i'm gonna turn it around like this and you can kind of see the bone poking out and you just want to cut right above that bone and then um cut the foot off and you're just basically cutting the uh I don't know the cartilage and stuff and there goes one and as you can see now it looks like a normal chicken leg so we're gonna do the other foot same thing just bend it backwards and you can kind of see the bones poking out you just want to cut right above the bone and then let the bone pop out and then you can just kind of cut the rest of the foot off and that'll be going into the waste bucket because we're not going to use it so next we're going to take um the neck and clean it up so you can see these breasts are pretty big <laughs> but um anyways you're gonna wanna normally the skin would be attached you just kind of pinch the skin up and cut it open and once it's open you're gonna want to find two kind of cords one's the trachea and one's the esophagus so there's one there you can kind of see it and the other one is just a little bit lower and you are gonna have to kind of tear at it just because of the connective tissue so tear at it and you can see there I got the two cords and over here is the um, I really don't know what it's called it's kind of like a sack that holds food but um you just want to kind of separate that you don't want to tear it just in case there's anything in there it'll kind of bust out on you and get all over the place but kind of separate that you can see it's like a sack so you got your two cords and your sack separated and I'm just gonna kind of cut a little bit of this skin and fat away right here all right so all that's separated so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this neck you're gonna get the neck and just kind of pull it out of the skin just yank all that skin off so that you have all this separated the neck the trachea the esophagus and uh, this whatever this sack is whatever you want to call it anyways once you get all that together you just kind of kind of want to hold it and you're going to want to cut as far back as possible now to get rid of this this part is really important to be careful with because obviously you know this is the tail whatever thing you got the butthole and everything down there and you want to be really careful because the intestines there you don't want to cut the intestine you don't want to bust that open and get poop all over your meat um because then it's going to be contaminated you don't want that so anyways we're going to cut you can see this little kind of tail right here we're going to just kind of cut right above it kind of loosen it from the vertebrae cut a little bit on the sides too what we're basically doing right now is trying to cut that intestine out um, and separate it. You want to be very careful. Once I get to the uh, intestine, I will definitely show you and we'll see so you can see what that looks like. 
And what you see here, this is the intestine. Again, be very careful. Okay, so it's pretty much loose. There it is. Turn it around, and then we're gonna kinda open up this. There's this loose skin right here. You just wanna cut that open. Again, the intestine is kind of right underneath here, so you wanna be very careful. Okay, you can kinda see, you can start seeing the opening. You got to where you cut open that, you know, connective tissue there. And then you can basically just reach in here and just stretch that open and there's all the guts. So, I kind of want to just shove your hand in there and get all this stuff separated. Like I said, there's connect connective tissue. You just kind of want to wedge your hand all around the inside walls of the chicken so that you can pull this stuff out. All the guts. Just like that. So you can see all the chicken's guts are out. Once you get all those kind of hanging out, we can finish getting this, uh, you can kind of see the intestine better and we can finish cutting it out. As you can see, this is the intestine. We don't want to rupture that. So I got it on one side. Let me take care of it on the other side. And there you go, there is all the guts. And again, some people save some of this, the, um, the liver, the heart, um, people dig out the uh, gizzard and stuff like that. We're not going to. All right, so now the last part we gotta get done real quick before we give this thing a rinse is get the uh, neck and the lungs. The lungs are really kind of hard because they're attached to the rib cage. So what you're gonna wanna do is really get in there and really dig around those rib cages so that you feel the rib cages kind of going between your fingers and then you can pull the lungs out. There should be one more. All right, there's the other lung. I'm gonna rinse my hands off a little bit first. Give it a good rinse on the inside. Get all that excess junk out of there. All right, and now for removing the neck. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't quite mastered this part yet, but I have started figuring it out. And you can kind of just twist it off. So I'm just gonna grab it and twist it right there until it comes out. All right. Make sure you can feel all the way through. And then you can, what you can do is just stand it up and kind of rinse it, let all that stuff fall out the bottom. And there you go guys, we have a butchered processed chicken. Um, once you get that done, you're just gonna bring it over to your cooler with ice and water and let them start chilling just like that you see we've already done four we got six to go so
right guys well that was it that was our first um experience at processing uh our own chickens um i don't know i would definitely do it again we had a couple hiccups throughout the day that kind of made it take a lot longer than what it should have but we still got it done nonetheless um we got all the chickens in um so well here's the chickens as you can see they look real good like normal chicken <laughs> So we're um, just kind of putting them in here. We're gonna put some ice on them, um, let them sit over 24 hours, and then um, we can put them in the bags and put them in the freezer and all that good stuff. But um, that uh, chicken plucking machine is like, I don't know, it's a really, really good machine. It definitely helped us save a lot of time. If it weren't for that, there's no way we would have got this done today. Um, we would have had to been plucking by hand. Uh, it definitely got all the feathers taken. Well, I mean, after we did each bird in the, in the plucker machine, there was still a couple feathers here and there, but nothing that, you know, was too too bad or anything like that. But it was a really good experience, guys. I definitely, um, if you have the space and uh, are interested in kind of this kind of thing and kind of raising your own food and learning how to process it even, um, I mean, there's plenty of videos out there. This wasn't really a how-to video. It was just more so showing you guys our experience doing it. And um, like I said, we had a couple hiccups, but it was a really good experience. It was exciting, it was fun, and I will definitely be doing it again. I don't know, let's get a get a second opinion. What do you think? What? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be? No. No? Why don't you step out the sun for a little bit? That should be clean enough. So. Yeah. The people want to hear what you thought about the, the chickens. It wasn't bad. Get out the sun, you're too bright. So what'd you think? Not too bad, it was easy? I wouldn't say it was easy. Maybe after the first couple. Yeah, maybe. the first couple, we kind of did practice before we started recording just cause I didn't want to show too many mess ups on on the video. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a really easy process. We've never done it before. It wasn't bad. It didn't take too long. Once we got the ball kind of rolling, it, um, it, was, it was good. Once we got the first two or three done, we kind of got the hang of it and just kind of flew through the rest. But um, next time we are going to be doing a lot more of these and uh, I mean this is some some people don't really agree with this kind of thing they um, earlier we were going and get we got a thermometer and a couple things from the uh, the, the store here in town and uh, the cashier because um, we got a thermometer and a knife and she's like oh what are you guys cooking and we were like oh we're not cooking nothing we're actually processing our chickens and she was like oh you're killing your poor uh, chickens and uh, I mean some people have that mentality others know that I mean you buy chicken in the store this is the same you know process it has to go through but in a big factory obviously this is just a small scale us doing it on our home just to feed ourselves we're not trying to produce mass quantities of chicken or anything but it is really really nice knowing where your food came from it's good to know what was put into it and you kind of appreciate it a lot more whenever you process it and raise it yourself you know rather than I mean anybody can just go to the store and buy a pack of chicken and um, I mean we occasionally still do that here soon we're probably not gonna be because we're gonna be butchering or a lot of our processing a lot of our own chickens from here on out but it's just really good to know where your food comes from um, know what put what got put into it stuff like that um, you know how it got treated um, chicken you buy from the store you don't know where it comes from you don't even know if that pack of chicken is you know how, how those chickens were treated how the animals were treated what they were fed what goes into them um, here doing our own chickens out at our home we can guarantee that it's safe it's healthy that we know what's in it and it's just a it's a really good experience and I definitely a happy time here. yeah and they had a happy life I mean they had a good life here um, they weren't crammed in the boxes or this or that um if you guys I'll, I'll put a link in the description below but if you um, want something to watch on Netflix or it's either Netflix or on YouTube. I'll find out and put the link in the description, but um, there's this documentary called Food Inc. And it kind of goes through some of that stuff as far as how we're, we're, we don't know where the, are the food we buy from the grocery store really comes from. We don't know what puts it, what's put into it. Um, it could be a lot of bad stuff, you know? And you just never know. Really bad. And yeah, and you never know how the animals themselves are actually treated. Here, we know that the animals had a good life. They, you know, lived out their life happy they you know didn't have a bad life they were treated good and you know now it's time that they just kind of you know 
pay us back you know this is the whole reason why we're raising the chickens is to feed ourselves to feed our family friends um and just provide really good quality good healthy chicken and other meats and stuff as well but um anything else you want to say about it any recommendations or tips or anything this was our first time so i i will say if you guys plan on ever doing this or it's something that might interest you definitely be prepared because we were running all over the place this morning kind of trying to figure out what we needed still going to the store um valerie had to make a couple trips to the gas station or the gas station the store up in town but um i mean i don't know any recommendations it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be once you do the first one it gets you get over the grossness it's really easy and over the grossness <laughs> yeah yeah but anyways guys that's about all we got for the day this is just like i said just kind of it wasn't really a how-to video per se just kind of showing you guys our experience and showing you that anybody can process their own chickens you know all you got to do is have the motivation to do it i guess you just got to have the equipment and the motivation and the knowledge on how to do it and you can raise your very own chicken at your own house and it's kind of a cool thing i think but um anyways that's all we got for the day hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any kind of questions or anything that like that don't feel um or feel free sorry feel free to go down into the comments i was about to say don't feel free but definitely feel free to go into the comments ask us any questions that you might have on on these chickens that we did and uh yeah i mean it, it was a good experience i hope you enjoyed the video and we will definitely see you next time anything else no that's it all right guys we'll see you on the next one